Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How are we doing? Matt Antonelli here. I know I haven't been on YouTube in a couple days now. been super busy with our Antonelli baseball season. We're getting close to the end of the year. But before we do, we're having a scrimmage game. Uh, so we have two teams at uh, 17U for us. Okay, So those are our two teams that we spend the most time with when it comes to recruiting. And we're going to have a scrimmage between the two teams. Uh, but instead of just having the one team 17U black, one team 17U gold, instead of just having them scrimmage each other, we've uh, split the team up. Basically, we're going to have a draft, okay? So we had uh, two captains. They're both from the black team, but they selected. You can take either black or gold players, whoever you want. Now, the interesting thing is um, the captains don't know every player from the gold team. They've practiced with them a little bit. They've scrimmaged them a few times, but they don't get to see them play very much. So uh, this was a little bit amusing for me to see where they picked everybody. Uh, no one did any advanced scouting reports. Nobody even asked me. You would think the captains would ask me, you know, for my opinion, but they did not. They just picked it. I don't even know how the hell they picked it, but we're going to play one nine inning game on August. What are we playing? August 16th. Okay. So this Sunday coming up. Um, I'm going to videotape the game. I'll throw it up here, but here's, we're going to go through the draft right now. Okay. So the players don't know players are going to find out what team they're on and where they were picked when they watch this, um, in the comment section below, let me know what team you guys think is going to win. So I'm going to announce the players that were drafted in order. Um, and then I am going to give you a little, a little tiny scouting report on not nothing crazy, but I'll let you know where they go to school, if they're committed or not. Um, just so you guys have an idea of what the team's look like okay so um first thing to keep in mind so each team got 12 players okay um they could pick one you could do anything you wanted if you wanted to go all pitching you could if you wanted to go you know position players there's four catchers um and so i just let them i didn't really put any rules in the only thing is there's a couple of guys that are not available to play and so let's go over those guys first so first you have sean sullivan not available to play 2021 committed to northwestern left-handed pitcher um throws very very well for us Typically like, oh, I don't know. He's been like 86 to 88, topping out like 89 or so. Lefty, big, tall, lanky guy with a good breaking ball. So he is not available to pitch. Um, he is going to be pitching next week for us uh, in real games. Uh, Sam Bellavo, not available to pitch, but he is available to play first base and try to swing the bat. Um, some people call him a PO. Most people call him a PO. Uh, I think he even calls himself a PO now. Uh, he is not committed yet, but he is close to getting committed. He has a lot of offers at the Division One level, and so. Um, but he is not going to pitch. He threw today, and he's going to throw next week. Uh, Luke McClintock, another very good pitcher that is not going to pitch. Righty, he's usually like 85 to 87, topping out at like 88, right around there. Really good pitcher, good breaking ball. He is not available to pitch. Uh, and then Peter Martin is not available to pitch, so we have a couple of pitchers that are down. Uh, Peter, St. John's prep guy, uh, good command. Usually, like, well, today, I know he threw today, and he was like 80, what did he say he was? 83 to 86, I think, is what his velo was. Um, and so he is not available to pitch. And TJ Zagari is not available to pitch, or not available to pitch, he can't pitch. Not available to play. Why he can't play, I don't know. He said he can't play. And so he is not available to play either okay so those are the guys that cannot be picked tj's a 2021 center fielder um can run really fast plays good defense okay so now let's get into the draft picks so we have two teams captains of the teams first captain brendan curran 2021 infielder also pitches a little bit for 17 u black he is a captain his team is called team iced out i don't know what the hell that means but that's what he's called that's what he's calling himself and then we have eric wing of uh team matt bush lovers so uh he's uh the captain of that team he's also on 17 u black outfielder big strong guy um he'll say he's very athletic i'll say he's okay um but uh but he can hit pretty good and so he's the other captain okay so uh eric actually gave brendan the first pick and said that i'll give you the first pick but i want to be home and there was no argument so uh, brendan took the first pick and with the first pick in the, uh, I don't know what we're even calling this game, the Antonelli Baseball 17U scrimmage game, um, the first pick was, let's see right here, drum roll, Pat D'Amico. So Pat D'Amico, infielder from St. John's Prep, that's where I coach in high school. Uh, I don't know if these are legit heights and weights, but he's listed at 6'1", 180 pounds. Uh, 2021, committed to Seton Hall. He's probably going to play shortstop for Team Iced Out. Okay, so that's the number one overall pick. 
The second overall pick in the first round, Eric Wing goes with Matt Travisano, 2022, uh, Noble and Grineau, uh, I think that's how you say it, 5'11", 185 is what he lists himself at, 3'3 GPA in case we're wondering. He's committed to the University of Pittsburgh, he'll be starting at shortstop, maybe starting on the mound, I don't know, he pitches also, so we'll see if uh, what Coach Wing decides to do. Okay, back to Team Curran. With the with the uh, second round, his second round pick. So the first pick of the second round, he goes with Hayden Bond, infielder, outfielder, right-handed pitcher, six one one seventy five from Malden Catholic High School. Um, we beat them a decent amount at St. John's Prep. That's okay. Uh, he is uncommitted. Uh, he's fast. He can play everywhere. Very versatile. He's going to be the second round pick. And then Coach Wing with Team Matt Bush Lovers. He goes. With his second round pick, he goes with Ryan Hutchinson. Infielder, right-handed pitcher, 6'1", 180, Hamilton 1, Regional High School, 2021. Um, solid pitcher. He's going to be like low to mid-80s. Um, good run, good breaking ball, uh, power hitting, left-handed bat. Plays mostly third and first. Can also play the corner outfield if you need him, Eric. Um, so there you go. The third round. Here we go, third round. Brendan Curran. He is going to go with Tobin Clark Goldfeld, TCG, infielder, 6'1", 175, Hamilton, Wenham Regional High School, 2021. He is uncommitted. Really good defender, versatile, can play short, can play third, can play second. He's going to swing the bat, right-handed hitter, puts the ball in play. Pretty good athlete. Um, so he is going to go with that. Okay, now back to Eric Wing in the third round. Third round, he is going to go with Griffin Ruffner. Catcher, so he goes catcher, 5'10", 170. St. John's Prep, 2021. He is uncommitted, really good defender, super quick feet, very good athlete. Um, so nice pick right there. They're all nice picks. I'm not going to say any picks were bad picks. Well, some of these picks were questionable. Um, the number, f- or so we're in the fourth round, back to Brendan Curran. So now Brendan got a little nervous. He saw Ruffner off the board. And so what does he do? He goes with Devin Simmons, another catcher. 6'1", 210 pounds, Timberland Regional High School. I think that's where he goes. Um, he's very smart. He's big. He's strong. He also pitches. He's going to be a, around, right around the mid-80s. You know, he's typically like 82 to 85. We'll touch an 86, maybe an 87 if he's feeling good. Um, but he is going to go with the catcher there. Uh, I call him Devin. Some people call him Devon. He doesn't know what his first name is, but we'll call him Devin Simmons for today. He's the fourth-round pick. Um for Team Kern. Okay, now we go back to Eric Wing. In the fourth round, he is going to go with his friend from Georgetown, Nick Gaeta, first baseman, also a right-handed pitcher, listed at 5'10", 200 pounds. Like I said, Georgetown High School, 2021 grad. So Nick, he pitches a little bit, mostly a first baseman, mostly a hitter. So he hits a lot, plays a little bit of first base, will also pitch, comes in. He does like this little shimmy at the top of his delivery. He's sneaky, though. You might not think he's a pitcher, but I've seen him get a lot of outs. So Nick Gaeta, fourth-round pick for Eric Wing. Okay, fifth round. We're going with, in the fifth round, where are we going here? Ah, here we go. Uh, Curran going with Joey Gizmont, right-handed pitcher. Six foot six, 205 pounds from St. John's Prep. Giz will run it up there. I've seen him throw 89. Last game he was throwing 85. Um, so his velocity's been kind of up and down and, you know, uh, Curran thinks he's going to get 85 to 89. We'll see. Uh, but he's big. He's, uh, he throws hard and, uh, he attacks with fastballs and he drilled a guy in the back, uh, last game. He wasn't too happy about it, but he shouldn't have been standing there. Um, so that's who's going to be the fifth round pick for Curran. Fifth round pick for team wing. Ooh, he goes with another one of his buddies, Patrick Hosman. So, uh, let's see here. Six foot one, 180 pounds, right hand pitcher, also an outfielder. I've been playing him mostly in right field. He can play all over the place. St. John's prep. So um, I like him on the mound. He's I've seen him anywhere from high 70s to low 80s. Um, plays very good defense in the outfield as well. And so we're going number five. I don't know if we're going to, uh, I'm, I'm guessing, assuming he's going to be a relief pitcher and also be in the outfield for wing. Okay. Number six. We're in the sixth round now. Team Curran, who are we going with here? We are going with my Jack Mahoney, 6'2", 185, St. John's Prep. You're noticing a a theme here or a trend. A lot of St. John's Prep guys. So uh, they call him Ma, and uh, 
so he's going to be able to pitch. He's going to play a little bit first. Left-handed bat, big, strong kid. Uh, threw really well for us last game. He's thrown really well for us uh, every game I've seen him pitch so far this year. So there you go. Six-round pick for Curran. In the sixth round for Team Wing, he is going to go with Sam Beliveau. From St. John's Prep, six foot, two hundred and ten pounds. Now, Sam probably would have, would have went a little bit higher in the draft if he were able to pitch. He's one of our better pitchers, but he's not able to pitch, so he drops a little bit in the draft. Um, and so he'll be playing some first base, big, strong, right-handed hitter. Okay, uh, let's see here. Where are we going? To the seventh round for Team Curran. Seventh round. Uh, let's see who Curran went with. He went with. Where are we? Here we go. Gavin. George. So an outfielder, 5'11", 175 from St. John's Prep. Everybody's from St. John's Prep. So Gavin, athletic, big, strong, can run into a ball. Um, he's the seventh round pick for Curran. All right. Seventh round pick for Wing. Wing is going to go with Zach LaRochelle. Chelmsford High School, six foot 165. Uh, Zach can play everywhere. So he's played short. He's played third. He can play second. He's played first. He could probably play the outfield, left-handed hitter. Really versatile player. Uh, can move all over the diamond for Team Matt Bush Lover. So that's a seventh round pick. Eighth round, Team Curran going with Jackson Brinker. So 6'1", 170, Weston High School. He's mostly been, uh, I would say he's been basically the starting shortstop for 17U Gold this year. Um, big kid, puts the bat on the ball. A lot, uh, lot of line drives, just consistent line drive so good pick there by Curran now we're going into the eighth round for team wing he is gonna go with maybe the youngest player on our team I don't know Matthew Schroeder 5'11 155 from Swampscott High School so he's a uh, right hand pitcher also plays the infield and so my guess he's gonna eat a couple innings up uh, good fastball curveball plays mostly we well, can play anywhere play short you could put him at second, you put him at short, or at third, um, right-handed hitter, and so he is going to be the eighth round pick for Team Wing. Now we're getting close to the end here. Ninth round, Brendan Curran, ninth round, who does he go with? He goes with Joe Lynch, outfielder and catcher, you can flip those, it should say catcher and outfielder, um, from Pentucket High School. So Joe's been uh, catching a lot for 17U Gold, also played a solid outfield, um, very good leader, uh, very good catcher, good catch and throw guy, all around very solid game. And so he's going to be the ninth round pick. Uh, ninth round pick now for Eric Wing, and he's going to go with Elijah Marshall, outfielder from Taunton High School, 5'8", 165. Uh, let me give you a little scouting report on Elijah. Fast, very good outfielder, very strong arm, has hit leadoff for us pretty much every game for 17U Gold, has had a really, really good season. Nice pick right there. I got a little bit of a sleeper pick there. Ninth round. Interesting. Um, and so I like that pick right there. Uh, let's see. Now we're going into the 10th round. 10th round for Curran. We are going with Jack Zarbo. 5'11", 155, Hamilton Wenham Regional High School, 17U Gold Team. So Jack has been an outfield. He can play all three outfield spots. I've seen him play left. I've seen him play center. I've seen him play right. Does a good job, good range in the outfield, gets everything. Uh, Right-handed hitter. So he will be the 10th round pick for Team Curran. Uh, let's see. Team Matt Bush Lovers, Eric Wing. In the 10th round, he is going with, who's he going with? Let's see. He's going with Owen Cootie. Pingree. What, uh, Pingree, what do they call it? Is it, isn't it Pingree School? Is that all they call it? Pingree School? I don't know. 5'11", 160. He's an outfielder. He's also a right-handed pitcher. Um, what do we got here? He's very smart. He's got a, almost a 1,500 SAT. It's a lot higher than me. Um, so Owen will, same thing. Similar to Jack Zarbo, can play left, can play center, can play right, but he also pitches. So a little bit of versatility there. Uh, he'll play the outfield, he'll probably pitch out of the bullpen a little bit, uh, depending on what Coach Wing wants to do. The 11th round pick is, let's see here, Logan Jalbert, 5'9", 165, from Beverly High School. Um, infielder, I think he can play some outfield. 
He says he doesn't. I've also seen him catch before. He used to catch for us. But he's mostly an infielder, utility infielder. He can play second. He can play uh, mostly second and third. Can also play some short if you need him. But nice, scrappy player. Uh, can move around the diamond. Good in a game like this. Um, I like it. So, now, number 11, or round 11 for Team Wing. We are going with Will Bartlett. So, six foot 180 from Winchester High School. Plays third base. Um, I tried him on first base. He also catches. And so he's going to move around. Big, strong, has some pop. Versatile player. 11th round pick for Team Wing. Now, the 12th round. The 12th round we have team with team. Team Curran is going with Ben LaBeouf. 5'11", 185. I say his last name wrong all the time, but I said it right this time. Uh, looks French to me, but we say LaBeouf. Um, infielder. From Bishop Stang High School. Is that right? I think that's right. Uh, let's see here. So, Ben can play. He's been mo I've been playing mostly at third base. I'm sure he could play some first as well. But he's been, been playing mostly third. Big, strong dude. Has some pop. Can hit the ball a long way when he gets a hold of it. And so he is going to be the 12th round pick for Team Current. And Mr. Irrelevant. That's not true. Um... Last pick in the draft, 12th round, the team wing. And I told team wing after this pick, I said that I like this pick right here. It is Michael Vitozzi from North Reading High School, 5'11", 160, 2021 grad. I, I forgot to say the grad for but everyone's basically a 2021 grad except for uh, Schroeder's a 2022 and Travis Arnold's a 2022. And I think that's all we have for 2022. Yes, it is. So Michael Vitozzi, so he can play all over the infield. Most of them playing him at second. He might think he's a third baseman. I like him at second base. Can play some shortstop as well. Makes all the plays. Very sound player. Puts the bat on the ball, uh, line drive, spray hitter, and so I like that pick right there. So there's a draft. That's everybody. Um, let's see, who do I think is going to win? Hmm, I don't know. I'd have to look. I have to look at this a little bit more. I'll put it in the comment section below. But put it in the comment section below. Who are you going with? Are you going with Team Curran, Team Iced Out, or are you going with Team Wing, Team Matt Bush? Lovers. I got to do a little bit more research here, uh, but it should be a fun day. I'll uh, I'll record the game and we'll throw it up here and see which team wins. That's all we have. Congrats to uh, Pat D'Amico for being that one overall pick. You get nothing. I'll see you guys on Sunday.